Hey guys, I thought we'd make a really quick and easy pot of vegetable beef soup today. This recipe takes about 25 minutes from start to finish, and it's perfect for those days where you just don't have a lot of time after you get home from work to make supper. Our first ingredient is just a big pile of celery. We don't do a lot of measuring around here. Just fill up the bottom of your pot and you should have plenty. The next thing you will need is a large sweet onion. The size of your pieces, again, is just gonna be your personal preference. I really like to have nice thick pieces of vegetables in my soup. So I'll have quite a large chop for this particular ingredient. If you don't like onions very much, or if you have picky eaters at your house, you can chop them up smaller, or you can just use onion powder, which is completely undetectable. Now we're just gonna sweat out our celery and onions until they are softened. We'll add some salt and we'll just stir them from time to time so that they don't stick to the bottom of the pan. Once the onions and celery are soft, you add in your ground beef. I use my very favorite tool, the Pampered Chef Chop and Mix, Mix and Chop, whatever it's called to help break up the ground beef into smaller pieces as I am cooking it. Once it's all browned up, then we add in some garlic and a little bit of pepper and then, of course, our very favorite herbs of choice, basil and oregano. The next ingredient we're going to add is our pureed tomatoes. We have these on hand because we froze them last summer. But if you wanted to use diced tomatoes, that would be just as delicious. We often use things that are in our pantry that are kind of on the limit of their shelf life. So I'll add in some leftover potatoes that I had. And then I will add in some beef broth to bring up the liquid level. And then we will put a lid on this, let it boil until the potatoes have softened. Our soup has been boiling, our tomatoes are all soft, so now it is time to add the final ingredient. I will dump in a bag of frozen mixed vegetables and then I turn the heat off because I'm not going to cook this very long. Just let the vegetables come up to temperature with the rest of the soup. You do not want mushy vegetables in your soup. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that you have enjoyed making soup with me. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment and let me know how it turned out for you.